Hello. Today we are going to be sharing a series of videos with you to talk about new graduation requirements from the Ohio Department of Education. I'm Mrs. Tucker. I'm the freshman counselor at Springboro High School, and this is Mr. Collins, who is a counselor for grades 10 through 12 students with the last names A through E. Um, we're going to show you a few worksheets that will be dropped into the Google Drives of students in 8th, 9th, and 10th grade. Um, this is just a tool that we've developed for you to use in tracking different graduation requirements that you'll need in the next couple years. Um, so today we're going to have a series of videos. That way if you have questions about one section, you can just go to that one instead of watching the whole thing. So if you look down at the bottom of the screen that we're sharing, um, this first video will be uh, just about this page that you can see the graduation summary sheet. Our next video will be just talking about credits that students need to earn to graduate. Then the section after that is about competency. So that's about state testing, end of course exams, and some other options instead of end of course exams. Section three is about our diploma seals. Um, and then finally, an optional section on honors diplomas. Um, not all students have to earn an honors diploma. Um, so if you think that you might be interested in that, that video is for you. So Mr. Collins is going to walk us through this graduation summary sheet, and I'm going to ask questions along the way. Mr. Collins. Thanks, Kate. So <clears throat> looking on the sheet, you can see that it's color coded and all sections are highlighted in a specific color. We've also highlighted its parent sheet at the bottom with the tabs. So you'll be able to figure this stuff out as you go. Simply speaking, credits for graduation um, have not changed. But what this tool allows you to do is to go to each one of these little boxes on the spreadsheet. You can enter a one for each class that you have had, and then it will tabulate those credits for you, not only in each of the subject areas as they appear on the sheet, but also in your cumulative total down here at the bottom of this sheet. So <clears throat> to, to make this work is really pretty simple. We want to, after my freshman year, I've finished English one. As soon as I enter that number, it populates in total credits, populates in cumulative total credits. If I take classes in other subject areas that are not exactly the same names as what we have listed, then you simply go in and you add the name of the class that you would like to have or that you've taken, and then you enter the credit for that course, um, depending on when you earn that credit. One point of emphasis here would be that this is a little wider than what our screen can show. So to include all of the credits, we had to go a little further on the right. Uh, when you get your version of it, you'll have to be aware of that those are over here. One of the questions, um, then moves on to what competency is. And again, we will address all of these in detail in the upcoming videos, but this particular portion represents where the math tests are that all students will take, and then the options for showing competency as you get toward graduation. And then finally, the last thing that we also have to chart for students are diploma seals, and we'll speak about those, but there's only two seals that are required for graduation. Um, and we're not too awfully worried about that. Those are mostly things that students have been doing over the past several years while they here, are here in our school. So we will get this out to students in February when we start scheduling. Um, we hope that this can help with some of those scheduling questions and schedule planning. And we hope that this tool benefits everybody in terms of tracking their classes and tracking what they need to do to earn their diploma. So that's what I have for this one. Great, thanks. And I can't look, can't wait to see how many times my lights turn off in my office while we're doing these videos. So, well, that was enjoy. Cool <laughs> All right. Well, so please click on our next video that'll just be talking about credits. Keep in mind, um, we will be doing scheduling presentations with students as well. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a tool for review and overview at home. Um, of how to use this document that we've dropped into our students' Google Drive. So um, this is just for families and students to use on their own. This is not something that needs to be turned in, but we wanted to provide a way uh, for record keeping on your own. So we'll see you in the next video.